All right, we're hanging out with Diffuse. Uh, recently just finished his set here at WEMF. How was the event? It was cool. I had a really good time. I thought the energy was really good. Now, you, uh, you had to come off after Madame Zoo. Uh, how was that playing uh, to a different crowd, normally the hard banging techno and then down to your... You know, actually, as a as a progressive and uh, house DJ, it was it was a bit challenging. But I actually pulled out a bunch of records that had a lot more energy, and it was kind of a challenge. But actually, had a lot of fun pulling out, you know, kind of the harder stuff. And uh, it, it, you know, at the end of the day, it was a lot of fun. Now you've uh, you've been featured on Global DJ Broadcast. Uh, can you tell us a little about that? Well, I've been actually uh, following Marcus Schultz, and and we've kind of kind of played off each other for a long time. I brought Marcus in a long time ago who hosts the show, uh, brought him in to Austin to play, and we've kind of traded off tracks for years now. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, do, do sets for him. He uh, throws down sets for me on my XM80 show that we play, and uh, it always works out really well. I think he's a really good producer, and I think he's doing a lot for the scene on the East Coast. Looking to the future, what can we hear from you? Uh, I've got an album coming out. It's going to be out on System Recordings. I've been working on it for about two and a half years now. It's called Begin, uh, all my own original music, and it's been a uh, it's been hell to get it put out there uh, with the state of the industry these days. But it's coming out soon, and I'm really excited about it. Watching you, uh, you spin. You played a lot of CDs, and I noticed you're part of a few. Uh, uh, CD pools. Uh, how important is that to your music, and where do you find most of the music you play? Um, it comes from all over. There's there are a lot of CDRs from artists that actually send me their stuff um, really advanced after they get it out of the studio and send it to me. Um, I'm actually a bit afraid of CDs at this point because I love vinyl so much more, um, and it seems like a lot of DJs. I mean, I'll watch a DJ go on and play nothing but CDs the whole time, and I, that's a bit of a bummer to me. To me, vinyl is still kind of what it's all about I mean there's there's no different uh, nothing different artistically between vinyl and CD but to watch a CD uh, DJ just put in CDs all night just tends to get a little bit boring I think sometimes so it kind of depends on you know what's going on with what I'm sent but I really try to put in as many records as I can but in this day and age you get all these great CDRs and so you want to play the newest greatest stuff and so um, I try to use a, a equal playing field of both vinyl and CD. So what would be the way around that? Around what? Around being indirectly forced to, to play CDs. Would uh, labels have to come out quicker with vinyl, or do you see a new technology coming through? I think new technology is really kind of taking over. Vinyl is a really expensive medium. At the end of the day, you can uh, send a track, you know, and download it somewhere from a record label. And it doesn't cost any shipping charges, anything like that. You just burn it onto a CD. Vinyl is incredibly expensive. So at the end of the day, I don't know how vinyl is going to survive with the cost differences that, that it proposes. I mean, it, it's, it's a, you know, to, to put out a record and everything, you're, you're talking about a lot more cost than just sending it over the Internet. And that, uh, it's a little frightening, actually. So would you look towards something like uh, Final Scratch being more DJ-friendly, viewer-friendly than, say, CDs? Uh, it's DJ-friendly, but I just think as far as like audience interaction and, and as a uh, medium for the audience to look at, I mean, it's cool. If people use it to its full potential to remix tracks on the fly and everything, that's cool. But when you're just using it as a medium to just play tracks... I just think that's a little bit boring. I think the audience wants to see you pull tracks out, uh, flip records out of a bag and slap them on uh, a pair of 1200s. I think staring at a laptop screen and uh, just kind of moving the, the uh, pitch wheels on a turntable is just a little bit bland. Um, so I'm a little torn, actually. Well, with that, the sun seems to be coming out, and uh, we'll leave you on your way, so thank you very much. Cool. Thank you so much. And if anyone wants to reach you or check you out, where's the place to go? Just go to djdfuse.com.